First off, uh, a few things you should kind of know about this. It comes in a very attractive, <laughs> yeah, uh, bright orange, can't really lose it box. Um, its weight uh, is uh, 11 point, well, 12 ounces. They've got 11.99, 12 ounces uh, or 340 grams. So it's quite lightweight. Uh, the dimensions of it, I don't know, but it's it's a decent little size, although it's not huge. Yeah, if you didn't want to use the box and you just wanted to pack it away in your backpack, it becomes a lot easier, obviously, and a lot lighter, but not as protected. Um, so it's got an ultralight aluminium alloy and stainless steel, right? So that's what it's made out of. So therefore, it's going to be heat proof and corrosion proof. Uh, so there's no problems there. Uh, it's got a windproof design on it, which we'll show you in a bit, which I'm fairly impressed with. I've already had a little play with this. Um, and of course it has the ceramic piezo ignition system. So, you know, shouldn't go wrong there. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what this bad boy looks like. Okay, so here we are. Let's pop it out of the box. Not the easiest thing in the world. There we go. As you can see, it uh, fits quite well inside. Um, it's a little bit bigger than your kind of normal screw on the top, but there is a reason for that. Uh, firstly, I'd like to point out the uh, steel braided cable, the connector that goes onto the gas bottle, and this knob here is actually what you control the gas flow with. Now you can see it has this windproof design, uh, which is uh, very, very useful, especially in Wales. Uh, and to basically set it up, you turn these, they only go in the one direction. And then there's also three feet that pop out as well, giving you a super stable base. Okay. Now it's fairly low profile to the floor, as you can see good it also has an added weight at the bottom which gives it even more stability so I'm fairly impressed with that I think you could probably put a fairly large pot on there uh, without fear of it tipping over it also has these sort of grooved things on the top of the legs by here and that makes the pot uh, sit on there even better and not slide about so Let's go ahead and hook up the gas canister and see how this thing fires up. Now, as you can see, I bought the Coleman Performance Gas and, you know, anybody that knows me knows I don't go any half measures. Let's get a really big one. <laughs> uh, and it's just simple enough just to screw in. Once you get it going, you can spin it a bit quicker. It makes the seal. You give it another little turn just to be sure. Now, as I said before, it does have a piezo ceramic uh, lighter on it, so you shouldn't need to take matches or a lighter with you. Uh, so, to use this, as I said, there's an adjustment knob here for the gas. Yeah, you just start to turn it on till you hear the gas coming out, and you ignite. All right, that's ignited pretty well now. I would probably do a very good job at uh, heating up your, your water. But not content with this, I think the designers decided that maybe you wanted to actually melt steel. So let's crank it up. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you can actually hear that, but um, I think I've just powered a hot air balloon. Uh, so let's turn this off. Yeah, a lovely design. Uh, works very, very well. I like the fact that the gas canister is actually away from the stove and the stove is low to the ground. So, in conclusion, the Outry 3500 watt gas portable stove um, is a very, very good buy. Uh, you can currently buy it on, on Amazon and it is the whopping sum of 15 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, you should be able to get it uh, from the link description below. 
And if you do, that really helps us out as well uh, because we will get a little bit of money back from that as it's an affiliate thing. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. Do not forget to click the subscribe and to hit that little bell to see when more things come out.